Okay, in this video we'll have a quick look at a tool called Hardsome Translation Studio. First, uh, let's have a look at their site, which is uh, hardsome.net. So the product that uh, we will be looking at is uh, Translation Studio, which appears to be their flagship uh, product, and it's version 8, which was uh, released in late uh, 2012. They have uh, four different editions, Light, Personal, Professional and Ultimate, and the price range from free for Light to about 600 uh, euros for Ultimate. And uh, these prices are in fact uh, discounted uh, as uh, often in uh, this business. So uh, net prices at the moment are 238 euros for the Personal Edition and uh, 488 euros for the Ultimate Edition. In this video, we'll be translating a short uh, Word document, which looks like this. So there's a title in bold and there are two paragraphs. And in the second paragraph, there's a portion of text which is uh, underlined. So let's switch to Hardsome Translation Studio. The interface looks like this. And uh, getting started is quite uh, straightforward. We go to File and New and New Project. Now I will call my project uh, Eurobarometer and I'll click on Next. I'll choose my source language, which is uh, English, British English, and uh, I will be translating into French. So I'll select uh, French and I'll add. And I'll click on Next. And now I have to create uh, translation memory. So I'll uh, click on Create. And uh, I can choose from uh, several different uh, formats uh, which are listed here, but I will be using the default, which is uh, internal database. And I will call my TM Eurobarometer and uh, I will click on Next. Now, I don't need to import uh, TMX files for this purpose, so I'll click on Finish. And I'll click on Next. I won't be using term bases for this project, so I'll click on Next. And now I have to add uh, my source files, and that's the document that I just showed you. So I'll click on Add, and it's uh, on my desktop in Source Document, and it's uh, here. And Create. And now Hartsom is asking me whether we can convert the source files to XLIF. Yes, finish. And now my project have been set up, so it's here. I can expand it. And I can see that I have all kind of components here, intermediate, where there's are reports. And here I have my source document. Uh, target that will be when it's ready and XLIF it's the document that uh, we are now translating so it's called Eurobarometer dot, uh, dot X and uh, the the extension is uh, HS XLIF for Hardsome XLIF and this is the document that I can start translating so I will open it and it looks like this in Hardsome's own editors so it's a pretty standard looking uh, editor. It's a tabular with uh, two columns and a status column in the middle. So I will be entering mm, the translation for my first segment. And uh, to move to the next segment, we have uh, several possibilities. We can either confirm the translation with Control Enter or we can approve it with uh, Alt Shift Enter. Or we can do this, these same things, but also go to the next segment at the same time. So it's either Control Down or Alt Down. So what I will be using here is Alt Down to approve and go to the next segment. So Alt Down. And now the status changed to approved. Now I'm in the second segment. I will enter it quickly. I will move to the next one, Alt Down. I will translate it quickly. And uh, in this segment, I have two tags at the beginning and at the end. So what I can do, I can select the whole segment with Control A 
and the command for inserting tags in uh, Hotsum is control and the number of the tag. So here it's uh, tag number one. So I press control one and my tags will be inserted at the beginning and at the end of the selection. Now I can move with Alt down and I will translate the fourth segment. And in this segment we have a little bit more tags. So the first tag is for the first part of the segment until here. And I will press Ctrl 1. Then the second tag uh, is uh, here. So I will press Ctrl 2. And the third tag is for the rest of the segment, like this, and Ctrl 3. OK, so I'll move to the next segment with Alt down, and I'll translate this last segment. And again, I have quite many tags, so Hardsome appears to be tag heavy. The first tag goes for this part, so Ctrl 1. And the second one, uh, that was the portion which was underlined in our original text. So it's this one, and that's uh, number two, control two. And uh, for the rest, we have uh, uh, tag number three. So I select it like this and control three. And now it's ready. I can press Alt down and all my segments have now been approved. So now we are ready to create the translated uh, version of this document and uh, we do this via file and convert to target files. And uh, here we can see the structure used by Hardsum. So uh, for XLIF files we have uh, the project name, then XLIF folder and then the target language and then the XLIF file which we just uh, processed so that's a bilingual file and uh, in target file we have the same structure at the beginning project name target target language and uh, the name of our final document which is a word document so I will press uh, convert and now I have to go in Windows Explorer to see users my username and here Hardsum has created something called Hardsum workspace and uh, here I can find my project name Eurobarometer and I can find my target folder and my target language and here I should have my translated document here it is so that's the French version of the document we just translated with the same layout as the original English document. So that was how to translate a simple Word document using Hardsome Translation Studio version 8. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.